the youth. How important is it for you to be a, a positive influence on the up and comers coming up? Uh, kids love me. Man. I love the kids. They love me. You know, um, and when I'm in the gym, you know, I let all the kids train with me. Every, all of that, you know, and I always give them back. I give them prizes when they win uh, tournaments. All of that, you know. And I know, I know how much you mean to it. How old were you when you realized that this was the stage for you? Twelve. You knew exactly at that moment. Yes. What, what went through your head? You thought you were going to be a world champion at the age of twelve? Yes, actually, actually, me, me and my mom had an argument, and and um, she said, "What's going through your mind?" Like, like I want to be a world champion. I was crying. She told me to write it down. I put it in my wallet. And I lost the wallet. <laughs> How big of an influence were your folks growing up uh, to, to pursue your dreams and, and what does that mean? I've seen a lot of the guys go from the top to the bottom and, and I've seen one guy from the ground up and that's my big brother Rashi Ward, three time Olympian and I watched him all my life and um, he's a big influence on me. And then I've seen um, Floyd Mayweather at 12, 12 years old and after that it was to the lights. How can how has boxing changed your life? Uh, you know, and what would you be doing if you weren't boxing? I wouldn't want to say. <laughs> so you think boxing saved your life, Paul? Boxing did save my life. You're you a baller, a though. You're a baller, man. You could have played that. AB always baller. You. <laughs> <laughs> we got that video showing you hitting all them trays and stuff, man. Oh uh, yeah. And a little bit about Pauly. This is a battle for uh, New York. You were saying that you had a lot of New York fans and a lot of New York supporters. Do you feel like this is a fight for New York? This is, this, is, this is going to be the biggest fight for New York. I see us selling the Barclays out. And how excited are you to perform in front of the sold out Barclays? I mean, I'm very excited, man. You know, fighting on the East Coast, that's where I come from. You know, uh, it's going to be live. It's going to be fun. The message to the kids real quick before we let you go? Stay in school. You heard it. Adrian Palmer Broner. Thanks a lot, brother. Hey, it's the same. Thing. The bigger your fights get, the more the more comfortable we see. You see, each time we see you, we see a bigger, a bigger, bigger version of Adrian Broner. Oh man, this this fight's gonna be huge. Uh, he's gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. But um, at the end of the day, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one to bring the bombs. And what, what what wrinkle? Like every time I look at your shirt, every time I see, you, I see something different. What's something new we're gonna see that we didn't see last time? You know, uh, you never know what you see from Adrian Broner. Would be nice to say that you're, that you're a student of the sport. I'm, 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 I'm definitely still a student of the, of the sport. I'm still um, studying. I st I'm still learning. You know, I, ha I still have a lot to, to do for the sport. But right now, you know, we're going to worry about June 22nd and we're going to worry about everything else out there. Uh, do, you, do you plan on parking at 140, 147, or are you just going to just keep going up? June 22nd right? is my biggest objective right now. Sorry, can we do one more? We got to get more on the top. Hey, let's talk about that Versace and the Gucci you got on here, man. You're looking sharp today. What is that? Fresh, Always sharp. Fresh. Fresh fly flash. There you go. You got the you got the Versace, you got the Gucci, you got the diamonds. That's that watch you had on Twitter, huh? Oh, yeah. I recognize it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So talk about the band camp a little bit, because you guys got a tour coming up, right? Oh, yes. Most wanted tour. That's crazy. I heard it was like Lil Wayne. What, what is that? It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. But um, first, I, first, I really have to handle my business on June 22nd, yeah, yeah. and then we're going to get to the music. Okay, all right. Congratulations on that, bro. Thank you.